hello internet and welcome back to my channel. Today I am joined with my best friend Kelly. Oh hello, hi. I was there like really surprised, like oh hi. Kelly's <laughs> been my friend for quite a while now. We met yeah. many years ago. Yeah. You were my, no, you were, well you were my I boss. I was your boss. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and we're like one of those friends that we always say that we're going to meet up and we never do. No. And today it happened. We made it happen. It happened. It's a dream come true. It's a miracle. It's a dream come true. Oh. <laughs> so today we're going to do the most likely to challenge. We've got our little homemade little signs. Um, so I'm going to read out some questions and then we basically just got to put who we think is most likely going to do that. Yes. Excited. So good. I am really excited. I feel like we're going to get to know a lot about each other. Yeah. All this. the juicy stuff. All the juicy stuff is going to come out. <laughs> it will. <laughs> okay, most likely to appear on a reality TV show? I think it'd be you. Yeah. I'd love to do that. It'd be good. Um, Which one? Well, I almost got onto Main Chelsea. Oh, you didn't tell me this! This is all well, new stuff! Not really. Well, I, based, I used to date someone that was on Made in Chelsea. Oh. And we met during the summer, and they were meant to go back to London in September to film. But then they decided they wanted to quit, so they left. And I was just like, if you'd had actually gone on to Made in Chelsea, I would have been like, you we're gone making on this there. official, and like, I'm getting well, on that show. I'm glad I picked you now. <laughs> <laughs> That's more likely. <laughs> That's so funny. Ooh, most likely to be on a TV commercial. <laughs> I think you. What would you do though? What would I do? It'd probably be like something really stupid and some, or like something I wouldn't even realise I'm on. And <laughs> like I'd a hemorrhoid just... commercial. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or like, be like, I don't know what this is, but I'm happy to be here. <laughs> I'd be like, yeah, I'd be like, extra for like <laughs> STI campaigns and things. I could just picture that and then. So yeah, I think it'd be me. But I think it'd be like the most like spontaneous way. So I actually I was um given an audition for an really? a commercial. Yes, a food commercial. Someone contacted what for? me. They didn't say which supermarket it was, um, but they sent me an email and said that they saw my um, Heinz Beans video okay. and the can song and they wanted me to audition. I thought this was a spam, but I looked up their network and they'd worked with the Tesco's. They, they did a lot and um, they were going to pay me to go to London really? and audition. Yeah, but I didn't, I didn't make the first cut. <laughs> so we had, to oh, send no. in, we had to send in like video submissions and stuff, um, but it was a really fun experience. But yeah, I'd probably say me oh. because of that as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That oh, amazing. Look at that. I know. Okay. Most likely to be the first one to die in a zombie apocalypse. Uh, do you know what? I'd just be like, give me the gun. Just like, literally. <laughs> me too. I would, yeah. I am maybe. like terrible when it comes to like anything like that. Yeah. I would just be like, just kill me first. It'd be both of us. Ass. We'd be like, no. Nope. be like, no. Nope. Like the Hunger Games, like I would actually just be like, do you know what? Just kill me. I ain't gonna be running or like going after people. I know, it's just too much effort. Run yeah. away and then hide. Like, where would you it's hide terrible. in a zombie apocalypse? There's nowhere There's to hide. There's nowhere to go. There is nowhere to go. No. Most likely to have a best selling author. I think this would be you. Me? No. Yes. I can imagine you like writing like a really funny like self help book. I can't even <laughs> write like. I can't even write a sentence properly. Oh no, no, I think you would be a really great at doing something like that. I would love to do children's books, but that's yeah, probably the most it would be. But I think you'd be amazing because your blogs are really good. It's like your blog post. So I could totally see you doing like a fashion or like a self advice. Self advice? Self -help. Me doing like a self help. Yeah, book. I could see you doing that. Oh my goodness. I think good. My life's a mess. Most likely to embarrass themselves in front of their secret crush. I mean, I have done that. Care to share? Um. <laughs> uh, um no. Do I admit this? Well, <clears throat> how many of your exes have you turned again? <laughs> That's another video. That was another right. level. I do apologise. Well, okay. Well, th this is a story from when I was younger, but okay. I was probably about three or four, and I was in the shower. And there was a boy that lived on our street and okay. he'd come to our house and my mum was like, so and so's here and I ran out of the shower, ran straight downstairs, naked, and what in front of him in the shower and he sent his kiss and I just snogged his face off. His mum didn't know whether to laugh or cry. Oh my mum was peeing herself <laughs> and the story went from there. He still to this day runs past our house. Is he, is he still your like neighbour? Does he still live here? He, I think his mum lives down the road. 
but he we still see him and he still like runs off and he's gay so <laughs> he's gay <laughs> most likely to become a priest or a nun <laughs> uh. <laughs> accidentally get signed up to something like somebody would approach you in the street and I'll do you like, know why hey, do you yeah. want to join my cult and you'll be like yes yes yeah, sure <laughs> I'll that? join the kooky clan <laughs> most likely to fart in a crowded elevator <laughs> I mean <laughs> I mean I, I think you should rephrase most likely to to like who has <laughs> most likely to get arrested for public nudity you put me. I would never. Why would you put me? I would put you. <laughs> <laughs> no. I just would never be. Couple seen. of sambukas. <laughs> <Just saying. laughs> no. I never would have thought about that. <laughs> I think. I, no. I, I just couldn't see myself. To be doing fair, it, I feel so. like. I don't know because I've been thinking recently about like you know like the women's march. Yes. And like how freeing that would be. That would be good. And what if you just got naked at a women's march? That would be pretty like... Fuck a kid. Empowerment. Empowerment. That, oh, that's nice. Maybe idea. that's gonna... <laughs> Anti-body shaming. Yeah, do you know oh, what I mean? Good, yeah. Who's, <laughs> who's most likely to get a restraining order? <laughs> Me. From Zac Efron. Yes. Not do you know that what? you've done anything yet. No, but my dream job is to be that person who moisturizes his body have you seen that there's like a, there's like this meme and it's like i don't need no qualifications this is my dream job or something and it's of this woman and she's like rubbing oil all over his body that sounds like a pretty good job that's my dream job yeah do you just need a minute to think about that yeah i do oh i love this question i've just found <laughs> okay right most likely to pour kanye on an award ceremony to what? And a, so to pull a Kanye on an award oh. ceremony. So do you remember the Taylor Swift incident? Yeah. And he ran up on stage. Yeah, she yeah, was yeah. like, Beyonce should have got this award. I, think, I feel like you would do something yes, like that. I'm quite if passionate. I ever got to a point where I was like at the Brits or something and didn't win an award, I could just imagine you going up on stage and being like, My best friend should have won this Excuse award. Excuse me. Give me. Give no, I'm, me. Quite, I'm quite passionate, so definitely me. And then I get the restraining order. And then order. you get the restraining order. <laughs> yeah, it's it all coming out. together now. <laughs> See, and that well, and then I get to be put in jail for doing something backs. Well, not backs, but something that I wouldn't think would be a fine. It's all starting to make sense. Yeah. Um, who is most likely to have a cat? Sorry, that. Was I mean, just like a... I have cats too. Oh, flip it. Flip it. I mean, I think we're both quite. Are you a cat person or a dog? Oh. I, I want one of each. I'm greedy like that. I just... Yeah, I've always said like I, I want, want a, cat, a dog. I want a dog. I can't decide what dog I'd go for because I really like chihuahuas. I'd plan this out. Okay, I would, okay. I would have a Labrador because it'd oh, be like cute. a once in a lifetime thing. Yeah. So I'd want a little like Labrador. Um, yeah, not much more to say. I thought about either getting a pug because pugs are so adorable. Yeah. Or like a little French bulldog, or like a little chihuahua, or like one of those little sausage dogs. Oh, oh yes. so cute. Are you likely to date a celebrity? Me. I think it would be you. It's more of, I'd wish. <laughs> <laughs> really? Why? I'm rich. I think it would be you, because like you're always going to like concerts, and you're always like meeting people. And I'm just, one day, somebody will just see you, just look into your eyes, and it will just happen. And they'll look at me and go, she's the beauty, and I'll be there like... <laughs> eight chins out yeah um i get you but then i sort of feel like you as well really yeah because you're gonna be like up there in the music scene and then you're gonna have an opening act who's like this adorable guy or girl whatever <laughs> and then they're gonna like fall for you and then you're gonna get to go on the roads together and then you'll just have this summer fling love that would be really cute i see so me and my friend brandon were talking about this the day in work so i'm like obsessed with halsey you know the singer halsey no Okay. <laughs> Sorry. No. <laughs> I have no idea. Not in like an offensive you way. Must... I just don't know who they are. Okay, right. You will definitely know at least one of their songs. I don't listen to like. I'm an old lady. I, well, I'm, I'm old, an old but lady. I listen to like musicals and stuff. I, I know. don't. And Disney. I don't remember what song. What was that? Hmm. Hmm. I don't really listen to the UK. Oh, I know that. Yeah. Yeah. She sings this. Who? Halsey. 
Wait, let me skip to her verse. Oh, I feel really bad. I thought Halsey was a man. Yeah, they're good. Yeah, this is Halsey. So Halsey's currently dating G Easy, and G Easy is a rapper, and they're both very attractive. So I've said that when I become a famous singer, I want to be like a little threesome in that relationship. <laughs> Wow, you planned it all out! I have, because Halsey's bisexual and I'm bisexual, so we'll be fine. <gasps> oh, that's good! And oh, Jeezy will just be there, so... Fair enough. Goals. Slightly to sob because of a sad movie. I don't know! You give your reasons first. Okay, right, so... Um, I'm gonna base my reasons on two things. So, um, I used to be in a relationship, when I was in this relationship, um, we, I'd, we'd watch films and stuff, and we once watched the Glee episode where Cory Monteith died. Oh, that is sad. And I sobbed, like, proper, <gasps> like, crying. Oh. And he filmed me and put it on, like, our group chat. And I was so you pissed off. do that. And then there was another time that we watched The Danish Girl, mm -hmm. and I sobbed. And he filmed it and put it on the group chat. So I think I'm just a crybaby and I'm a wuss at life. I wouldn't say that. I mean, like, especially with like the Cory Monteith thing, that sort of like enabled that, like, emotion hit anyway. Because so, it was oh. like young, someone that was young yeah. in that in like yeah. the media and like, stuff. I, it was like when Amy Winehouse died. I was just like, <gasps> yeah. Like I got sad when those things happened, but because I loved Glee, yeah, and like I followed Cory Monteith and like you know yeah. his journey on Glee, it was really sad. But that's the time that I was like most affected on yeah. like any celebrity. It's like when you hear like um, when celebrities die, you normally like, oh, who's that? Google them. Yeah. But like when he died, it was like I knew that name I knew instantly. It. You knew I, exactly yeah. who they were, and it was like, whoa. I still remember like I went into my sister's room and I just sobbed, and like it was just. I remember waking so up sad. and like checking my phone, and it was on Facebook, it and was I was just like, yeah. <gasps> and no. I was just like, I had a little cry really to myself. Sad. It was yeah. such a sad day. It was, it was horrible. Yeah. But what about you? Crying at sad film. <laughs> well, um, if you don't know me, I'm quite an emotional wreck anyway. I actually I cry at everything. I cried I cried at Lilo and Stitch right. And a lot of it, yes. And the scene was there are many scenes that could like probably make me upset and they did. But there was one specific scene and I never cried so much in my life at a film. Oh no. Listen for it. Oh. It's when Lilo she gets like bullied by these like yeah, these yeah. girls. But it's the bit when she dropped her teddy on the floor and ran off because I felt <laughs> I felt bad for the teddy because he was on his own and then I thought of like the whole Toy Story thing and then <laughs> so I just cried but that's not a thing like you, yeah. you don't cry at that but I did I cried at Finding so, Dory when she thought her parents were dead oh that was sad and I was just yeah. like oh. and it was like in the cinema as well and there were loads of kids yeah. and I was just like you don't like, judge me well, and I cried a long time of editing for you that's okay Okay, so wrap it up. Okay. Okay, so that was the Oh, so that was the um most likely to challenge. Thank you so much for being on my channel. Thank you for having me, I've loved and it. Check the descriptions for all the links to Kelly's stuff. Oh, she does YouTube, it. she's got Instagram and all that too. I do all the things. All of the things. <laughs> um yeah, so thank you so much for joining me. Thank um you. thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe yes, button definitely. because it's real, real important for us small YouTubers Especially now. This Get down there and subscribe. Thanks. Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, bye. bye.